journey about anthropometry, which is a part of ergonomics. Anthro stands for man and metrico is for measurement. So when we are talking about anthropometry, which is an integral part of ergonomics, we are learning about creating or designing environments which is going to be perfect or a good fit for the worker at the workstation. To be able to do that, we first need to define the user population. Once the user population is defined, we take a small set of the user population and call them the sample set. And then we use, in, uh, the, this is an anthropometric kit. These rods which you see out here are the anthropometers. Okay, be very careful with these instruments because they are precision instruments and we need to take care of them. For example, this is the one which comes with the stand. So this, the are you part of your head? We uh, need to uh, match the measurements of these rods and fix up the rods so that it becomes easy for us to take measurements. Right? So this is how we create the anthropometer. We will have to match the measurements which you can see out here. These are all in centimeters and then it is used for the So once we build up on the whole set of the anthropometer, it can be used for example with the slider over here. So that measurements can be read. If you have a rod out here, which will be able, which will be able, for example, if we require a hip length, so we find out the hip joint of the person and then to the corresponding, we record the units in centimeters. So this way there are two kinds of anthropometric data that can be taken. One which is static data. When we say static data, it always has a fixed reference point such as the ground. And when we say dynamo meters or dynamic measurements, we use these kind of dynamo meters. Right? This is the grip strength. Vila Shweta only demonstrated. Have the subject who is whose measurement has to be taken stand straight with her feet together. Give her the dynamometer and ensure that this is at zero. Let the person look straight and pull to your full mind. There are three readings that have to be taken so that the average of it will be the grip strength of her right hand. In this case, it is 20 kg square per meter. Yeah. Similarly, you will have to take it, take a reading for her left hand. Three readings and then the average. So you get the grip strength of the right hand and the grip strength of the left hand. These are very useful when you are designing controls. You can find out according to the human capacity. For example, if you are trying to do knobs which are for safety purposes, which will have to be pulled so that the engine stops or the machine stops, then you have to take the fifth percentile strength so that every single operator will be able to pull the tap and stop the machine. This is the pinch dynamometer which is required for operating small machines. So here we calculate the pinch strength. Okay, so the pinch strength over here is 2.4 in her case. Is that clear? So this is the strength of her pinch. Again, these are used for designing buttons as well as any kind of control where the pin strength is required for pulling or pushing. This dynamometer is called as the back strength dynamometer. There's a lock which has to be used for keeping this thing together. 
make the subject stand with bare foot ensure that this is at zero and make sure that this is at elbow height pull it up pull it up as much as you can done till you will be see the reading okay so her back strength is 10 kg which means it is very low in comparison with the normal range so a lot of back strengthening exercises have to be recommended so that the employee can give his best effort or his best in the at at work place you the earlier had a good back strength capacity so it is not always the body height and weight that determines the back strength what is the reading 15 so definitely it shows that her back strength capacity is much higher than subject a Good fit, product design, and ultimate. 